So now we are going to load Davey Bones into the vehicle and properly secure him with the wheelchair securements. So to load him, either you, if you're going to stand on the platform with him, you want to load him reverse. Otherwise, you could load him on um, by himself. So we'll load him up here. Once we get him centered on the platform, we're going to go ahead and make sure our parking brakes are applied to both sides of the wheelchair lift. And now we're going to go up with the pendant for the wheelchair lift. So once we reach uh, level height to the bus, the wheelchair lift's going to stop, in which case we are ready to roll Mr. Bones into the vehicle. So we'll release the brakes and we'll go ahead and bring them on back in. Now at this point we'll go ahead and get him set up in the, his wheelchair spot he is going to be riding in on the bus, which in this case will be our street side position. So we'll go ahead and center him between our securement points, the front ones and the rear ones, and then we'll apply his brakes again. So now that we're in the back of the bus here, we're going ahead and securing Mr. Bones to his uh, wheelchair spot on the floor. In either one of these bags, you'll have a set of wheelchair securement pucks. So we'll go ahead and pull the one out for his position. Inside, you'll find your Q Strength QRT Max securements. So we'll pull all of them out. So you have four for the four points of the wheelchair. And you'll also have our lap belt, which we'll go ahead and connect here momentarily. To start, I like to start with the back of the wheelchair first, make sure that's nice and snugged up. So we'll take our um, QRT Max securements. Nice thing about these, it's a slide and click system. You don't have to uh, run into the issues with the L-Track um, corroding to itself within the floor. This is a nice clean system that pivots and auto retracts for you. So we'll go ahead and secure the wheelchair, a securement to the slide and click puck, which will start at the very back corner of the, the wheelchair itself. We'll slide in, it's already locked. And then we'll go ahead and secure to the wheelchair. Now when you're securing a wheelchair, you always want to attach the securements to the welded points of the frame. You don't want to go through any wheels, uh, through any cracks or crevices that might not be a solid member, just in case of an accident. So on this wheelchair, there's a 90 degree weld right here. You'll notice the seat mounting to the, the wheel frame itself. That's where we're gonna to wanna to secure. So we'll go ahead and press our red lever on a securement. We'll pull it out and we'll hook from the inside to that welded member. Now, we'll go ahead and snug it up. You can twist the sides of it to give it a nice tight um, squeeze there. And we'll do the same thing for the right side rear wheelchair lift. Go ahead and secure our slide on our sliding click and then we'll go ahead and press the red lever and attach uh, hooking from the inside again on that 90 degree welded member of the wheelchair. We'll snug that up again and we're good for the rear. Now, we'll go ahead and move to the front. We'll take our other securements, and this can be a little tricky working around the resident, but we'll go ahead and come to the left side, the front position. We'll bend over, slide our puck on, and for the fronts, you're gonna find this welded member here. It's a 90 degree weld. Um, that's again where the seat mounts to the wheel frame. You don't want to attach it to this wheel. You don't want to attach it to any of these moving members. Uh, it's not going to be as secure as it needs to be. We'll go ahead and press our red lever on the back of it and pull the strap out. And we'll hook again from the inside to that 90 degree weld. Snug it up a little bit. And we'll do the same thing for this right side front position. Swivel it around. Press the red lever there, pull out, and secure from the inside to that welded member. Snug it up. So once you've got it fully snugged on all four corners, now we can do a brake test, which we'll go ahead and release the brakes on the passenger's wheelchair, and we'll go ahead and make sure they're not moving around. Reapply the brakes. Always want the passenger to uh, 
make sure they're riding with the brakes set still. Now we'll, we're going to go ahead and attach the shoulder harness to the lap. In your bag, you will find this black lap belt. How this operates, there's a little piece there that'll connect to the rear uh, securement. And then we'll go ahead and pull the strap over the shoulder just like a traditional uh, wheelchair lift belt. So we'll go ahead and on the back right side of this position, we are going to pull, put this little piece around and pull on the tab until you hear it snap. That's how you know it'll be set and secured. Now you're going to take this belt and we'll run it up. Now again, you don't want to go through any wheels to get there. You want to go between the cracks and crevices over this black piece here and now onto the passenger or resident's lap. They can hold that there. Now we'll pull the shoulder strap over, let's see here, again on this shoulder harness there's the same uh, piece, that tab that you're going to attach to the left side securement point. So we'll go ahead and make sure that's attached. And we can pull the, the seat belt itself over the passenger shoulder. This is going to go between the armrests again, just like the last one we did on the other side over the passenger shoulder and around their waist. And it's at this point, we'll go ahead and attach the other side to the passenger there. Make sure the belt is nice and snug, which we can snug these belts up. There's some extra um, long tongues for the belts you just pull on. Same thing with the shoulder belt, just pull on, make sure that's nice and, and tight and snug and he's not gonna move. And that's how you secure a wheelchair.